Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to some frugal food on Friday in our French kitchen here in Brittany in Northwest France. If you're new, I'm Jane. My husband Mike is holding the camera. We're British, early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living a thrifty, frugal and money saving life here in Brittany in Northwest France. And that includes eating at home and cooking at home and eating frugally and saving money in the kitchen. And today we're going to show you my version, our version of coca van. Uh, traditionally you would take a whole chicken, you would cut it into its pieces, you would make stock, all of those things. I'm going to show you a cheaper, quicker, easier version. So, you know, I know people are going to say that's not the way to do it. That's cool. That's cool. But this is the way we do it. So, Let's get cooking Cocker Van. I'm going to run through my ingredients for my Cocker Van. It's a, such a simple meal. So I'm going to run through my ingredients and what I'm going to serve it with. I have here a kilo of chicken thighs. Traditionally, you would get yourself a cockerel, a nice big male chicken, and you would you would cut it into all its little pieces, into the leg pieces, into the thigh pieces, into the breast pieces. You would take the bones and the carcass and make stock. This is the easy peasy way to make. So you, I've used here chicken thighs and I leave the skin on because when I brown it off all the flavours coming out of that. So there it is. That's two pounds of chicken there. I've then got 12 shallots that I've peeled. Now mine are quite big and they require a bit of cooking so I've got 12 shallots here. I've then got 200 grams of fatty chopped bacon. We call it lardons here. I've got 250 grams of mushrooms. Now, if these were small, I would serve them whole. So if you can get small mushrooms, that's good. But if not, and you're a tight-fisted person like me and you're not paying for the little ones, get the big ones, clean them with a paper towel, and then you're gonna cut them into quarters. And you can see here, I have got my corn flour and my butter. So at, when I, at the end of it, I will show you how I saute these mushrooms until they are cooked in plenty of butter. I then scoop them out, pop them into the cocker van, and I use the butter that I mix with some, a couple of, couple of tablespoons of corn flour, and I mix that together, and that's what I use to thicken it. And I've got some parsley here. Poor parsley's been sat there all day, so it's looking a bit limp. I've got some parsley that I'll chop up and put in at the end. I've got half a litre of red wine, a quarter of a litre of chicken stock, and I will use a teaspoon of herbe de Provence, a teaspoon of thyme, I'll use a tablespoon of dried garlic, or I would use about four cloves of fresh garlic, and I will use plenty of pepper, about a teaspoon of black pepper. I don't add salt to this because the bacon is salty. And also the chicken stock is salty. And let me explain to you what I'm gonna to do to serve with this. I will do mashed potatoes and leeks and serve that with it. And I will also have steamed savoy cabbage and carrots. And I get everything ready beforehand. Um, I'll get this all in shot for you. I'm gonna prepare it all in my big pot and then transfer it to my instant pot to cook it and by the time that my vegetables are cooked, that will be done. So it takes quite a long time to brown it. And uh, traditionally, you brown everything one at a time. I'm not gonna do that. I'm a housewife, I'm a busy housewife at that. And I'm gonna brown the, the bacon, the onions and the chicken all at the same time on a high heat and I'll just keep it stirring. So those are my ingredients. Bye. 
can see here that I have browned my chicken and my shallots and my bacon. I did have to take the shallots and bacon out because they were starting to get a bit overcooked and my chicken wasn't cooked enough. And I did actually cook the chicken in the pan for 15 minutes until I got it brown enough. And you can see here, I have transferred it to my Instant Pot. And this is gonna go obviously in the Instant Pot in a moment. So I have in here one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of thyme, a heaped teaspoon of dried garlic, and two teaspoons of herbs de Provence. I'll stir those in. I've got my half a litre of red wine. and my quarter of a litre. So that's two cups of red wine and one cup of chicken stock. I'm gonna give that a stir, put that in my instant pot and I'm going to cook it on pressure, on high pressure for 20 minutes. Cause I've already cooked the chicken for 15 and 20 minutes should do it. In that time, I will cook my vegetables. The cooker van is in the instant pot and it's got about 10 more minutes to go in there. I'm going to saute my mushrooms until they're all cooked. I'll then remove them and just put them in a bowl ready to put in. And when I add them in at the end, I will show you how I add in the thickening, which I will make in this pot, which will be some melted butter and a couple of tablespoons of corn flour stirred together. And I will add that and the mushrooms all at the same time, stir everything up, it will be thickened, pop the instant pot back on for three minutes and it'll be ready to be served straight after it has decompressed. You can see here that I have sauteed my mushrooms and I'll just leave the mushroom juices in there that'll all get added into the cocker van. I added one more piece of butter into the leftover butter and I'm going to take a couple of dessert spoons of flour and make kind of a butter and flour paste and that will thicken the cocker van. Don't worry about the brown on the bottom of the pan, that happens when you cook things, it'll all come off in the dishwasher. But that's just kind of the, the browning from the, from the mushrooms. It'll all be clean, I promise you. And that, that butter and corn flour paste, which I'm gonna cook for a little bit, cook it for about 30 seconds and it kind of cooks the floury taste out of it. And that will go into my cocker van to thicken it. So my chicken has been cooking on high for 20 minutes. And I'm gonna add in the thickening and the mushrooms and I'll switch it back on again for another five minutes on high. Of course, I'm gonna add in my mushrooms now. You don't add the mushrooms in at the beginning, otherwise they just, it's kind of rubbery. I'll give that a stir around. And it's already thickening. And I'm gonna switch it back on now for five minutes, which gives me five minutes to drain my vegetables and just and add some butter and pepper to them. And let me get my lid back on and I'll get this cooking. Here is the finished cocker van. It took 25 minutes to finish cooking in the Instant Pot, 20 minutes to begin with, and then another five minutes when I added in the thickening and the mushrooms, served with creamy mashed potatoes and leeks, savoy cabbage, and carrots.
That was so simple, wasn't it? And it was absolutely delicious. It wasn't expensive. Wine isn't expensive here. I used the cheap chicken thighs to make this. Obviously, I could have, you know, done the whole chicken thing, but we're on a budget. We're on a budget. I'm sure many of you watching are too. Now, we love your comments. One of the reasons that we cooked Cockavan was because you asked for it. So if there's anything that you want to see me make my frugal version of, leave me a comment. You never know. You might see me cooking it here in the kitchen one day. If you enjoyed the video, go on, hit that like button. It's really helping the channel grow. See you again soon. Bye for now.